Northeast Africa is a geological hotspot. This is where humankind emerged as the largest continental rift on Earth was taking place. This rift system includes a complex network of faults and volcanism from Gulf of Suez and Dead Sea in the north through Red Sea and Gulf of Aden to Somali microplate to the south. Northeast Africa and the adjacent Middle East is also where we have the oldest records of oil seams and their uses dating back to the book of Genesis. Given the importance of the region for structural and sedimentary geology, and also for hydrocarbon prospectivity, we have designed two research studies at the Energy and Geoscience Institute. The first project deals with the Gulf of Suez and the Red Sea basins. The second project studies the Gulf of Aden and offshore Somali. Both regions currently offer offshore blocks for petroleum exploration. Red Sea is a textbook rift system. However, the precise sequence of tectonic events that have led to the present framework is complicated by the presence of three plumes and triple junctions and a complex structural network that connects these features. A major objective of this study is to evaluate the various tectonic models in the face of geological and geophysical data, and then construct an integrative model for the opening of the Red Sea and the Gulf of Suez basins that focuses on the impact of structural evolution on the positional fascias and the temporal and spatial extent of sedimentary sequences. This attempt also helps to standardize the stratigraphy of the region that is bordered by six different countries. In our geological reconstruction, we will address both pre-rift and syndrift sedimentary packages and depict them on paleogeographic maps with correlatable source rocks, reservoirs, and geochemical data. Oil discovery in the Gulf of Suez goes back to the turn of the 20th century. And today, there are a large number of oil and gas fields in the Gulf of Suez. Nevertheless, there are also questions about the compartmentalization of oil and gas fields in the northern, central, and southern sectors of the Gulf of Suez. The Red Sea is much less explored, although dozens of exploratory wells have been drilled since the 1970s, and several wells have encountered promising oil and gas shows. With Egypt and the Red Sea being closer to European markets, the region has attracted much interest for, from oil and gas companies in recent years. Saudi Arabia has reported some successes in their Midian and Jizan basins. Egypt has offered a number of offshore blocks in the Red Sea. In this study, we will collaborate with experts and agencies in Egypt, Sudan, Saudi Arabia, and Yemen to produce a detailed and comprehensive report on the petroleum plays and prospectivity of the Red Sea and Gulf of Suez basins. In our integrative study, we will use a diverse set of data and methods, including seismic, well logs, high resolution biostratigraphy, geochemistry of source rocks and hydrocarbons, basin modeling, onshore well data, and a comprehensive survey of literature and reports. In this manner, the study will tackle key questions and tasks such as basement basin mapping, distribution of effective source rocks, pre-rift plays, subsalt prospects, and the ranking of petroleum systems. Study two deals with the Gulf of Aden and offshore Somalia in the Indian Ocean and its continental margin extension to offshore Oman. 
For this study, we will apply the same integrative approach and will utilize various data sets and methods, including seismic and geophysics, structure, biostratigraphy, geochemistry, and basin modeling. The studies on the Red Sea and offshore Somalia will be conducted by a team of experienced scientists with various fields of expertise, including structure, sedimentation, stratigraphy, and geochemistry. We will also collaborate with veteran consultant geologists with long experience in the region. Thank you for your attention. For more information, please visit egi.utah.edu or contact the principal investigator, Rasul Sorkabi, at EGI.